Alright, how's it going guys? It's your boy Texas Shadow, repping Team Legacy. I'm here to do a deck profile on my DSM reset deck. I believe that's what it's called. If I'm wrong, let me know. But yeah, let's get into it. Um, as you can see just by looking at the deck list, it's pretty much uh, Dragon Sword. Um, I love, I main, my main deck is Disaster Dragon, so the fact that I'm able to put dragons in here along with lights horns and stuff like that it's pretty neat and I really like it um, I find this deck really competitive um, I am getting better with this deck so yeah. um, this deck is based all on milling so um, almost all the cards in here if I mill it's pretty much a plus for me no matter what I mill because I want it in the grave and so yeah um, as you can see I run a uh, triple red eyes and a uh, triple wyvern um, if I were to mill these guys into the grave, I mean, they're just pluses for me because at the end of everything, I can just remove and special summon a red eye. So, yeah. I run one prime material dragon. Um, he's good for burn decks and um, anything that doesn't have to do with destruction. So, yeah, he's a good card to always have on the field. Uh, Genesis Dragon, he is my monster reincarnation for my dragons. Um, in this deck, I do mill a lot, so I do mill my JD, or I mill Dad, and it's like, oh, I really need those. So with his effect, I'm able to pitch that Wyvern that's in my hand, or pitch the Red Eyes to the graveyard, and I can add a dragon from my graveyard to my hand, such as the JD, or add Dad, or any dragon. So yeah, uh, Genesis is a very good card, and the fact that when he's destroyed, I have the option to put all the dragons back into my deck, so I can put those JDs back, or the Dad, and then hope to draw into them. So, yeah, um, of course I run the... Gores and uh, Trigodia to stop the Trunade plays and when my opponent's about to go off and OTK me, so yeah. Uh, troops for the mill. Magical Merchant. Um, as you can see in this deck, I don't run too many spells. It's normally more limited, but I, I am testing more spells. Like I have Mind Control down here on the side deck because uh, I had it up here, but I didn't want to put it in the main deck for this video. So um, Merchant mills all the cards I need and then it, it gets that solar that I needed to my hand when I'm holding on to one of those light swords or gets me the reincarnation or the reborn or even the future fusion. So um yeah, merchant is a really broken card in this deck. Um of course you got your tuners, you got your bulb, your plague, and then the gardener um to stop those attacks when I really need it. Chaos Sorcerer, he is such a great top deck for this deck. Um I have so many light and dark targets in this deck. Um, so, I mean, Chaos Sorcerer is a really good card. And uh, Dad. Dad is probably one of the best cards in this deck just because of the fact I'm able to manipulate the darks in this grave so well. Like I said, having Gardener in this deck, um, Plague Spreader, uh, Chaos Sorcerer being able to remove the darks with Red Eyes, removing the Wyvern so I could bring him back to get the dark out of the graveyard. Um, yeah, I mean, Dad is just really broken in this deck. Um, as you can see, the light, most of the last ones I run in this deck all mill. So, I mean, that's the whole point of this deck is just to mill as much as I can so I can get my deck, so I can get everything I need in the graveyard. Um, other than that, um, Wolf is the only, probably one of the only ones I have that doesn't mill. And I only run one because Light Swarm players do know that drawing into Wolves can be killer and it can be really dead. So, yeah. Um, the best Light Swarm card that I probably run in this deck is going to be the Light Swarm Dragon. Um, his effects what is what makes him so good. Um, first of all, he's a dragon type, which makes him a target for red eyes. Um, his effect that he gains 300 attack and defense for every last one with a different name in, in the graveyard. So he will hit 3000 attack and above pretty fast. And if I'm pushing for game, like I said with red eyes, uh, I can bring him back and he pierces. He does a difference between the, the defense and the attack when he attacks to a defensive monster. So if I attack into a Raikou and I have game, it doesn't matter that I attack to the Raikou, I have game. So, yeah, and the fact that he mills makes him that much better. Um, of course, two JDs. Um, the Dandelion I threw in is my own tech into this deck because 8 out of 10 times I will mill this card and the tokens really do help. And uh, just another target so I can finally mill that go bulb and then go into a synchron and so yeah. Uh the Veiler as well. Um I like drawing to this first turn because with people so many people trying to go off first turn and synchro and use their effects, this this shuts it down. So yeah. Uh the main reason this deck is called DSN reset is because of this guy right here. Sky Scorch Norels. Um the only way to bring this guy out is by removing one light fairy type monster and three dark fiend type monsters from your graveyard. Um, then once you've done that, you can use the effect to pay 1,000 life points. You send all the cards in the field, 
and in both players' hands to the graveyard, and then at the end of it, you draw one card. So, at the end, I mean, you you plus off that one card, especially if it was like a charge or a um, merchant or a chaos source, because you already have everything in your grave. You've dumped all the dragons, you dumped your tuners, you dumped, you know, so, I mean, it's all pluses. And the fact that, I mean, he blows up the whole field, it's like a JD, but like, it's everything. So, yeah. But. I don't bring him out by his effect. I use Phantom of Chaos. So if I can somehow, if I have that Phantom of Chaos in my hand and I can use Solar or the Charge to Mill Sky Scourge and I can drop Phantom of Chaos first turn, my opponent has to dump his whole hand and I dump all the cards that were in my hand, like my Dragon and whatnot, and my opponent's top decking. And it's not, for this deck, it's not bad to top deck for me because, I mean, I want everything in my grave and the fact that I'm going to continue to mill it doesn't hurt and for most people for most decks that have to start off top decking most decks cannot recover from that so that's what makes this really good it's one of the better combos in this deck if I can get it off and especially a late game where my opponent has a, has a set field and um, I can't get over anything um, he's a black rose so yeah um, Triple Solar Recharge, of course, for the Light Swarms. A single charge. Um, and Reasoning. I love Reasoning in this deck. Like I said, I don't run too many spells. And a lot of the monsters that I have in here can be Normal Summon. And um, pretty much once my opponent has seen my deck once, they are confused. They don't know. They're, they're, they don't know what I'm running. And I have so many different levels, they really don't know what to call. I have them calling threes, fours. I even have someone call a 12 on me to try to hit the track. So, I mean, it's pretty funny. But... When I do reasoning, um, a lot of times I'll end up milling like, you know, high levels like the Gores or even Prime or even my Red Eyes. And if I mill the Red Eyes, it's just a plus because once he has the field, I have a, I normally have a Dragon in the Grave, so I'll use this effect and bring back the Light Sworn Dragon or bring back a Wyvern, so it's all about the pluses. Um, of course, double MST, um, double mi monster reincarnation, uh, monster reborn, the future fusion. I mean, future fusion is so pro in any deck, um, especially if I can first turn this card. I dump all my dragons into the graveyard, and depending on what I'm holding, will judge what I draw, what I drop into the grave. Like if I'm holding a dad, and I go second, and my opponent has already gone off, I can mill all three red eyes, or if I already have a dark, mill two red eyes, and I can drop dad. Or if I'm holding on to a JD, of course I'm going to mill my Red Eyes, my Wyverns, my Prime, and then finally at the end I'm going to mill the Light Sworn Dragon because it'll already be one Light Sworn in the grave, and I'm already one step ahead. So, yeah. Um, other than that, Hand Destruction, um, it's a really good card too. I was thinking about running two, but one is good right now. Um, it gets my Light Swords into my grave and the, the dead stuff out of my hand, and it gives me just more mill. Um, other cards I was testing out was uh, Gallus of Starbeast. Um, he's a really broken card in this deck because I don't run too many spells, like I said. And uh, if you reveal him and then uh, you send the top card of your deck to the graveyard and your opponent takes damage, you get to the level times 200. So if I mill the red eyes, it's either going to burn for 2,000. And I do have a lot of 8s in this deck with the 3 red eyes, uh, JDs, I mean, with Dad and Gores at 7, Prime and Genesis at 6, I mean it's burn 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 so I mean he's a pretty good card um, mind control I was testing that as well um, it is a good card because um, I hate I hated having to sit have bulbs sit in grave or plagues in grave and I haven't used them they're still alive and with drawing into a mind control when I really need it I can finally use them uh, get that monster off the field and then just plus off of that so yeah um, as for my synchros they're pretty self explanatory I mean um, double formula synchro uh, Cataster, a Hyper Librarian. I only run Hyper Librarian in DN. I don't have one, so I don't run it. So, yeah. Um, Gaia, Bryonach, uh, Arcanite Magician, another pro synchro that I go into a lot, especially with the Chaos Sorcerer. So, yeah. Um, Black Rose, a Stardust, a Scrap, a uh, Thought Ruler, who's actually really pro right now. I feel one of the better level 8s I have in this deck, especially. Um, Especially, I mean, seeing from what I have, I mean, he's he's really good right now. Um, let's see. Uh, I run a double Trishula. Normally, I run a Trishula miss run, but right now I'm just testing the double Trishula, and I I mean, it's been working out. And other than that, Shooting Star, I do go into Shooting Star a lot in this deck. It's pretty crazy. Um, and then finally, the five-headed dragon. Um, 
yeah, definitely. He, uh, I have to run him, especially with all these dragons. Um, so yeah, um, that's my deck, guys. Um, if y'all have any questions or comments, or y'all want to help me out, uh, post some comments below. Uh, if y'all want to play or help me test this deck, or you want to see it in action, go ahead and hit me up on DN. Uh, my name is TX Shadow. It's all together. Um, so yeah, it's your boy Texas Shadow signing off.